so if you're watching this video you probably have run out of storage space on your NAS and you are thinking either to get a bigger NAS or get an expansion unit or simply replace existing drives inside the NAS with something bigger but before we go through the process how to do that uh, we need to answer just two questions is what size of the drive should I get and which uh, drive from which bay should I replace so the size if you have a two bay then you will need to replace both of the drives then the size depends whatever you want you can put uh, two matching drives of uh, 16 terabytes if you want inside your NAS but there is the limit if you have a two bay you may as well consider either getting a bigger NAS or expansion unit because then you could benefit from RAID 5 or SHR which means one drive redundancy instead of mirroring because mirroring means halving all your storage capacity we got just for parity reasons so if you have four bays or more then things are simpler but you still need to change two drives in your RAID to actually increase the storage uh, capacity because if you're gonna replace just one drive because lots of people are thinking like oh can I just add a single drive to an existing RAID and or can I replace single drive to existing RAID then uh, the answer is uh, depends actually if you have combination of for example one terabyte two terabyte and three terabyte then in this situation for example one two three four let's say terabytes then if you replace one of these drives just to match one of those drives then yeah replacing the single drive can actually increase the capacity so in this case if we replace three terabyte with four terabyte drive we suddenly increase the storage space and the same we can do with one terabyte and two terabyte drives so we always replace the smallest drive in the RAID so one terabyte replaced with two terabytes you suddenly gain more storage space so what you need to aim for is uh, for matching matching existing drives with something bigger in that case you can actually increase the storage space but if you got um, for example all of the capacities of the same kind um, then you will need to replace those two drives with something bigger or think about adding extra drives um, so that that would answer this question like what size do you need so size is to match the biggest drive and which which drive we replace we replace the smallest ones so so what we got now here we got 420 here there's mixed sizes normally people wouldn't do that but just for testing reasons we have here mixed size so in this case if we have for example three terabyte drive then to increase the storage space what we want to do is to match this existing three terabyte drive already but which drive we replace we replace the smallest drive so this 186 gigabyte drive we will replace so that's base three and how to do that so if you have hot swap a solution which you most likely have if you have j series budget series then you will need to shut down your nas switch you off uh remove you know the case uh, then remove the drive put the new drive in and uh, and then follow the steps so in this case we got hot swap so we replace drive three so we remove that and we slide in the replacement drive wait for the synology to come up with uh yeah error saying that one drive is missing what do we do in that in few seconds synology should pick up the new drive so on dsm7 on the drop down is going to show you that uh the new drive has been found and uh if you click on manage this drive it's going to come up with this option so what do you want to do with this drive repair storage pool assign hot spare create pool or create ssd cache so we want to repair storage pool then we choose if you have several storage pools you'll have uh, options there so we have only one we click yes we want to repair it and uh, you should always have a backup in the place just in case but 99.99% of cases this should be okay so we choose this drive what we want to replace click uh, next and continue it's going to be formatting this drive here's already saying that there's going to be expansion possible so expand capacity of volume one because in dsm6 you should do this manually once you have rebuilt the raid you will need to go back and uh, change the change the volume size to max so now it's a bit more automated so click okay and next and and it's going to do fast repair as well which means um 
it's not gonna be overwriting empty bits on the drive so whatever was empty is just automatically going to be moving forward um, in the second actually the beeper should disappear but if it doesn't then we just probably go somewhere to the settings and disable it but it's quite annoying isn't it so let's go to storage pool now it says repairing initializing 63 percent 979 so look how quickly it's actually rebuilding that's actually a benefit of dsm7 that the rebuilding is happening so quickly um how to disable this beeping thing i really don't know i think it just disappeared so it takes few seconds for it to understand that rebuild is um happening and and the beeper just goes away eventually there was in dsm6 an option to actually stop the beeper but not anymore uh, so it's repairing when it's going to be done you can already see that i think the volume is increased already or maybe not yet so not yet so it's still 836 gigabytes but it will go up to over three terabytes in space just uh, we need to wait for it to finish so then we can play a little bit more with uh, volume if it doesn't do it automatically but it should it should do that so a couple of hours later we can see that volume has been uh, increased the storage well the storage storage on this volume has increased to 3.3 terabytes and um, everything just fine no no additional configuration needed like in dsm uh, 6 where you had to go into volume change the max uh, to a bigger values to increase the, the size of the storage so now everything is automated and once you plug the drive in it's gonna give you this pop-up thing from the drop down you just say yes i want to use this drive for expanding my space and uh, and uh, it's automatically gonna resize everything reconfigure it so this was a instructions video how to do that and how to do it properly uh, if you've got any questions you can always go to nas compares Fill the form on the right hand side, send the email to info ask compares, ask the question, we're gonna uh, make a video answer like this and uh, help you and help others as well. Cheerio!